Um, one of the, the topics that comes up quite often in Rhode Island and in New England, you know, we have a growing amount of condos. There's new condos being built. There's uh, a lot of condos that are, you know, that are out there on the market and a lot that uh, may be available in the near future. And condo financing for those who, you know, would like to purchase a condo, uh, warrantable versus non-warrantable condos. We, we definitely, we got to jump into this. Uh, I think it's a timely and important conversation because there are a lot of buyers on the road right now looking for different options as inventory is still a little low here in Rhode Island. So glad you're talking about it. Can you explain first off, like, what a warrantable condo is and then what a non-warrantable is, Justin? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you're right on. I think condos have become a fantastic alternative with uh, limited inventory. Um, also with price points, it's a great solution for first-time buyers. Mm -hmm. It's great uh, for folks that are looking, empty nesters that are looking to downsize uh, for divorcees. So there's a lot of solutions that um, condominiums fit. Um, so non-warrantable and warrantable, what's the difference? Well, warrantable means that uh, those properties, those condos are insurable by Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. Um, so they fit the box. Um, they don't have any pending litigation, open lawsuits against them. They don't have an excess of investor concentration. Their reserves meet the requirements set forth by Fannie and Freddie based on their calculations. Mm -hmm. So a warrantable condominium will allow you to get in under, you know, standard mortgage terms. You can get in with three, five percent down on a conventional loan, whereas non-warrantable, not fitting that box, it's uninsurable by Fannie Mae and Fannie Mac, opens up a lot more risk. So there's not a lot of um, banks and lenders that lend on non-warrantable condominiums. We do. So it's one of our feature products. It's a, it's a great option. Um, there are some differences there, of course. Down payment is one. It's a uh, higher requirement on down payment, 20%. And the interest rate's a little bit higher. It kind of goes along with that risk. Justin, do you have any idea? You may or may not know. I don't know this. How, like how many condo units there are in Rhode Island and how many are, you know, like warrantable or, or FHA approved even or, you know? You yeah, know? that's a good question. Um, so, uh, on the FHA piece, there's not a lot that are FHA approved right now. Um, I found that during COVID, um, less um, HOAs met. They didn't take care of what they needed to take care of to um, continue that FHA eligibility um, on the association. So a lot of them lost it. And, and, and that's not the, you know, the big issue because we can do FHA spot approvals. So a complex may not be FHA approved, but we can get an individual unit approved for an FHA um, loan called an FHA spot approval. That's something that we do as well. 